sort of horse and as the lads were saying there Donny's proving quite a handful even for Davy Russell a man of his expertise going out onto the track there yeah. hopefully he'll just play ball now and not sort of compromise his chances before the race gets underway here yeah it looks like Davy has him there has him under restraint and he gave him a super right at entry didn't he he just bounced him out in front got him into a lovely rhythm out in front Jump, jump, jumped really well and, and, and stayed on really well to beat us and them. So, um, a Magal Chase, a grade one win. So we're almost set for this fascinating Ryanair novice chase with Duc de Genève and Defi de Soy going head to head, taken on here by the fascinating dark horse Chacon Persois. And lest we forget, Wada Rev's a grade one winner himself over fences. He won the Ryanair Gold Cup at Ferry House just the other day. Ornu has been a bit fractious in the preliminaries here, but behaving himself a little bit better now that he's got down to the start. Defi de Soy. Just going across to join the others now with the hood removed. He just wears the hood and the preliminaries done these days. Doesn't need it in the race itself just to keep him nice and relaxed before going into battle. And touch wood, that seems to have done the trick. And great for Richard Johnson here. Obviously tough for Barry Garrity to be on the sidelines, but Dickie's had some big days on this fellow, including when he won the triumph hurdle. And I'm sure he's been really looking forward to renewing this association. Yeah, bad luck for Barry. All right, who's that injured? Wish him well. But yeah, for Richard Johnson to get back on him, it's it's great opportunity for him. And look, he's he's, he's he sets the standard. He, he's stepping back from two and a half miles to two miles. All his improved form of offence has been over two, but he is a triumph hurdle winner over two miles. Maybe triumph hurdle winners tend to get further than two miles in time, but he sets the standard that they all have to get up to. Big day for Shane Shortall as well, who's been entrusted with the mount on us and them in JJ Slevin's absence. JJ taking a spill earlier in the day. Here we go for a fascinating Ryanair novice chase. Jerry Hannon. White flag is raised, and they're off. In the Ryanair Novice Chase, grade one over two miles and 11 fences and taking each other on in these early stages or newer. Us and them and on the far side is Voix de Rev, blazing the trail in front of the great Duke de Genevra who's followed by Defi de Soil. On the outside is Chacon Poursois and the back marker in the seven runner environment, Duke de Tay. All safely over the first fence is Arnoux and Davy Russell have stretched on a couple of lengths in front of us and them and Shane Shortall. Third is Vaud de Rev and David Mullins with Jute de Genevra and Paul Townend in fourth place. Tracked closely by Davy de Soy and Richard Johnson as they jump the second fence at the top of the track. Chacon, poor Swar, Robbie Parr with the back marker, Duke de Tay and Jack Kennedy. The seven runners make the downhill run, two fences, three and four at the bottom of the track, and the leader is Ornua. Two lengths in front of us and them, half colours of Vaudereve in third. A couple of lengths then to Duque de, de Genevra, and after the grey is Defi de Soy, Chacon Poursois, Duque de Tay. Fence number three coming up the first of two ditches, Ornua over well from, and guilty of a mistake there, and gone, us and them. 
Austin Dem and Shane Shortall have departed the race at the ditch, the third fence, as Ornu is the leader. Duke de Geneva has moved second on the outside of Vaudurev, and then Chacon Poor Swap being followed by Defi de Soy and Duke de Te. Turning right handed to go down the back straight to the first of three fences, seven left to jump, and the Rhiner Novice Chase, and it's Ornu in front of Duke de Geneva, the grey on the outside of Stable Companion Vaudurev. And then Chacon Poor Swap and Defi de Soy with last of the six that continue in the race, Duke de Te. Over that fence, which was the fourth, taking them to the halfway stage. And it is Ornua out in front of Duke de Geneva, Vaudurev, Chacon Poursois, Defi de Soy, and Duke de Tay, a bit adrift at the back of the field, and not on landing there from Duke de Geneva in second place, but no harm done. They're well inside the halfway stage. The next fence, the end of the back straight, will be five from the finish. And last of the ditches, it's Ornua, Duke de Geneva, the Arkel winner getting closer. Defi de Soy, a mistake there. And well picked up by Richard Johnson, the JLT winner, as Ornua races onto the five furlong point, pursued by Duke de Geneva. And then Chacon Poursois, who's gaining ground on the outside of Vaudurev, then Defi de Soy, and Duke de Tay remains the back marker. Across they come, four fences to jump, and the Ryanair Novas, and it is Ornua continuing in front of Duke de Geneva, Chacon Poursois, the spotted colours on the outside of Vaud de Rev, then Defi de Soy, the white cap, Duke de Tay, last of the half dozen. The first of the two fences before the straight, Orno into the corner. Duke de Geneva and guilty of a mistake there at the back was Duke de Tay. On to three fences from the finish and Duke de Geneva ranges alongside Orno, followed about a length and a half back by Chacon Poursois and then Vaudurev and Defi de Soy beginning the good run towards the final two fences in the straight. And Duke de Geneva and Paul Townend joined by stable companion Chacon Poursois, Robbie Power on the outside and breathing down on them is Defi de Soy and Richard Johnson. Ornua has given way. Then Voix de Rev as they come down towards the second last. Chacon Poursois in the centre will lead at two fences from the finish. Was low but got away with it from Duke de Geneva. In third place is Defi de Soy down to the final fence in the Ryanair Novice. And it's Chacon Poursois and Robbie Parr chased by Defi de Soy who has a turn of foot in the closing stages. They got 200 yards to go. Shaq on Pursquaw from Defi de Soy and up towards the finish. This is one hell of a performance in much deeper waters as Shaq on Pursquaw has won the Ryanair for Robbie Parr. Willie Ballins and Mrs. Susanna Ritchie with Defi de Soy second, Duke de Geneva. Well behind in third and Vaudurev and Duke de Tay. Rich Ritchie back in the big time and in fairness to Rich Don he was very confident about this horse earlier on he was a revelation on his belated Irish debut at Nace pitched in at the deep end today and what a performance from Shotgun Persuas. It was a serious performance Gary it was a top class race we had all the novices that you'd ever want in it the Arca winner the JLT winner the um, the, the Ryan Arrow Gold Cup winner all the four, four grade one winners. He's a beginner's chase winner last time at Nace, but the manner in which he won that beginner's chase gave him every, uh, gave him the right to take his place in this grade one race and a really hot grade one novice's chase. And he's just been superb. He's, he's, he's been brilliant throughout. I'm sure Robbie Power can't believe his luck to fall in for the ride on this fellow. He picked himself up off the floor following that spill and not many left. Of course, it's a double on the day for him. Debbie Desoy not done any favours by the loose us and them going to two out there, Don. I think Richard Johnson could have done with maybe getting past him before that fence. All of a sudden, he was four lengths down on the landing side. But in fairness, when he gets a bit closer to Chacon Persuas here at the last, the winner just gallops away from him again on the he runner, did, doesn't he? he? Exactly, and the, the leader's pricking his ears going to the last, and he got in a wee, wee bit tight to the final fence, and it gave Devi de Soy a chance, and, you know, he stays two and a half miles, we know that, he, and he, he wasn't stopping, he's got pace as well, but Chacon Persuas has just come away from him again on the running. He really has. No real excuse for Duc de Genève back in third. He was left well behind by the other pair. And maybe looking at that, it's still early days. Maybe he was flattered by the visual impression in the Arkle at Cheltenham. Fascinating race to watch, though. Ornua went a helter-skelter gallop early with Wadarev. And us and them had sadly departed by this stage, Tom. We didn't get a great view of what happened to him, but Shane Shortall deposited in a unceremonious fashion early on in the race. But the eventual winner here 
different tactics today. Obviously, you made the running at Nace, and they never saw which way you went, but you've got to cut your cloth to measure, and I think Connections would have known that there would have been a huge amount of pace on today. Mistake at the back there from Duke of Dethay, who was out of it at the time. But generally speaking, while he nodded on landing there, this fella's jumped like an old pro, hasn't he? He's jumped superb, just as he did at Nace, Gary. He didn't miss a beat at Nace, similar to today. Like, that was his only mistake there. He just got was, was just nodded a wee bit on landing and lost a little bit of ground. But he's he's jumped as well as anything. Deffy Desoy made a mistake earlier on. Duke de Genève jumped well, well as well. But here he's just loomed up on the outside here. He's travelling better. Deffy Desoy, in fairness to him, he's had to do a little bit of running to get in there and get in there among them. And as you said, the loose horse, the loose horse and them did take him a wee bit out to his left, which he didn't want to be, where he didn't want to be. But he's moved back inside. He's still about, he's about two, two and a half lengths behind at the, at the second last fence. He's got every chance there to close it, but the winner, he's only just getting going now. He's pricking his ears on, on the run between the final two fences. And Robbie Parr is just, I think, just making sure going to the last. He's just making sure he gets whatever he needs to do to get over it, get in tight and pop it. It gives Steffi to saw a little bit of a chance, but he's picked up again on the land inside and gone away. Hugely exciting performance, not just as far as today is concerned, but for the future as well from Chacun Persois. Just the third chase start, I believe, of his career. He had one in France before. Joining Willie Mullins, had a huge spell on the sidelines, basically three years between races, and then given a bit of time to recover. Robbie Parr, Kevin, I would imagine, got some buzz off that fella. I can only imagine. We'll find out in a second, Gary, but I think we all got some.